Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Oof, today we have a beautiful truck. It is a 2023 W990. This truck has been in service already for a couple months. It's got about uh, 12, 13,000 kilometers on it already. And uh, Jade was kind enough to let me do a feature video on it and show you guys what it's all about. We got a huge surprise on this one for you. So let's uh, dive in and check out what this truck is all about. All right, we are out here on location. We are up in Lockport, Manitoba. We've been here before. I love featuring some uh, feature trucks up here. Uh, just gets me out of the office and I can really focus on diving into the truck. Uh, as this truck had a ton of extra work done on it, but uh, I love it up here too. It kind of has a really cool vibe to it. It's uh, lots of fishing in the area, lots of pelicans kind of flying overhead. I've seen eagles. And this is a giant uh, ditch right here, a huge floodway. Uh, this saves our city from floods in the area. There's uh, the locks right there. But anyways, you're not here to see all about that. You're here to check out this beautiful W990. A big thank you to Larry uh, and everybody at Jade Transport for purchasing this truck. Uh, this is actually, this truck was originally ordered and sold by my father, Dean, who has since retired. But this is his one of his last builds, if not the last build that he's ever done. Probably the last build I'll ever ever feature that he did on this channel, uh, unless he makes some like crazy comeback or something. But anyways, let's get into it. So like I said, this is a 2023 W990 that has been uh, customized quite a bit after the fact, sitting on a 250 inch wheelbase. And this is the car hauler flat roof bunk. So I really love the look of this. It's kind of got that old school throwback vibe to that kind of slam chop top, if you will. Really like how it looks. Uh, factory ride height didn't do any adjustments on the front end of it here. Uh, it's just kind of how it comes out of the factory stock, uh, but uh, lots of potential to uh, use this truck and do a lot more with it. Uh, and I'm sure they will be doing that uh, in the coming months. So up front here, we have the Texas style bumper. We have the center grill, which is, that's the standard configuration with the, uh, the six ribs. Uh, there was some modifications done there, uh, some metal flake vinyl installed kind of on here just to kind of accent and uh, make it look a little sharp. And I really, really love this look here. I. Uh, it kind of gives that front end look a little bit more of a classic W900 look. Uh, the headlight's not so big and bulky, uh, you know, like a cement mixer or something like that. So I really like how some vinyl was just uh, put over top of there just to kind of make that look a little different. And it's kind of cut out in a similar Kenworth kind of bug style, kind of both slanted on its side. Wow, that looks so cool. Gotta love it. One of my favorite features right there on the on this uh, on this rig up. So uh, we had a two color paint design put on this truck. It's more kind of like an olive green down here and a little bit deeper green up above. Uh, if the sun comes out, I could maybe show you the difference a little bit better. You can kind of see the difference here. I'm hoping, but uh, 
the direct sunlight is really noticeable. And we have this nice orange pin right down the middle, uh, which makes it look really sharp. Front end is a 13.2 wide track. Uh, we have low pro 22s on the front end and those are the Alcoa mirror polish on the, uh, on the front end there. And I think we put air ride on the front here. Yeah, we did. We'll, we'll show you that here in a second. Uh, we have the polished battery box right here. And then we have the polished fuel tanks with the seven inch straps. We did put a gap here from the factory because we did some modifications or Jade did some modifications to this after the fact. We put these old school A model elbows on here with a uh, factory hookup to the factory exhaust. So these are actually both connected to the exhaust and uh, they were functioning exhaust pipes. And we have that beautiful stove top, uh, chop top exhaust pipes. So it looks kind of old school with the straight pipe. So we can do this it's almost from the factory. We can order it with the ground exhaust and then just an aftermarket uh, pipe installed uh, and connected to the exhaust pipe. So uh, I've done similar setups before where they were just dummy pipes, but these are actual functioning exhaust pipes. So I think that that is something super cool. And I really look forward to doing more of these uh, setups for more customers. Just love the look of it. Tell me what you think. Here you can really see the definition of the color uh, between the dark and the lighter green there. We have the def tank in behind right there, and that just matches up perfect with the toolbox on the other side. And then we have the fuel tanks and then the straps all lined up nice and even, Steven. Uh, really like how that's, how that's done. Uh, back here we have the AG400L suspension. So this is the four bag air ride, the low air leaf style. And then we have the deep drop half fenders, the stainless half fenders, blind mount. And these are made by the guys over at Class 8. Michelin tires on the back. And again, aluminum rims, dura flange with the mirror polish finish. And then we order this truck without any rear mud flaps so we can get the back end as tight to the front as possible. And then these are installed after the fact. A little dusty to get over here. We have to drive on gravel just a little bit. You can kind of see it just blows right off there, but uh, a little bit dusty. And yeah, we got a few nicks and dings and scratches, but it's uh, it's a working truck. This truck is uh, actually going to work uh, every day, but except for today, it's here letting me do a video. We have the Meritor 40,000 pound rear axles on here with full locking differentials. You can see the plunger right there. And then we have uh, a 308 gear ratio on this truck. So a super low ratio. And I'll explain why here in a moment. Uh, there is the disc brakes and we have that all the way around on this truck. And then this side here, we have the toolbox, like I said, lining up nice with the def tank and then the fuel tank over on this side here. And then there's that uh, other pipe coming out. So you can kind of see what was done, DPF kind of twisted a little bit on its side and then uh, exhaust coming out. So looks really sharp. And this is the 52 inch flat roof. So it looks really cool. It does have quite a bit of room in there still. So let me show you what's underneath the hood here. <sighs> then I got to bring this truck back to my customers so that they can put it to work or get another trip in on it. Oh, here we go. This truck is hauling tanker to the States and across Canada. And uh, we have the 450, per four, sorry, product 450 efficiency series. There's too many choices. 450 efficiency and uh, this is 1650 torque rating on this engine here. You'll notice here it has the air shutoff device right there. So it does have a factory installed air guillotine and that is to uh, basically starve the engine for air if this goes into a uh, situation. Oh, there's a Pelican flying overhead. Distracted, anyways. Uh, if it goes into a situation where the engine starts running away because of fumes in the 
air, you can uh, hit a switch in the cab and it will shut the engine off without uh, having it run away on itself. So like I showed you guys earlier, it has the AG130. So this is the uh, Air Glide 130 on the front end, Air Ride front. And then we have the fuel water separator, battery boost terminals, the air inflate, click right there. And uh, this one is ordered as a AMT. So it's got the 12 speed Packard transmission. So you don't have any release bearing for the remote lube terminal here. We have a power steering uh, fluid right here, oil fill, oil check. We've got your washer and your coolant up above and then uh, fuses and relays up over there on the firewall. Let's go around the other side. Show you what's there and then we'll look inside at the end. We've got your turbo and uh, all the hot side of the engine over here and then up above is the HVAC system. Filters are all in behind here, easy to change. And then your main cab uh, filter or engine filter is up above there. So we'll just hit this little safety latch, close up the hood and bring this tour on the inside. All right, so as we walk into the cab here, you'll notice we have that diamond stitching in the Madrona uh, color. So it's kind of that coppery, orangey kind of color, which is really cool. And uh, we have the black on the door panel and then the wood grain right here, which kind of goes all the way across. And then we have the tan interior, which is one of Larry's favorites. He loves the tan interior. And then uh, over here we have the tan uh, VIT seats, air conditioned, and I believe they're heated and air conditioned. No, these ones are just the heated. You can get them in air conditioned. You can't tell from looking at it unless it has a switch on the other side, but uh, they look the same way as this here. Sitting down in this type of cab, you have lots of room. It's very comfortable. I just drove this uh, half an hour from my office over to this location and uh, really nice comfortable cab to to drive in so as far as the dash controls here we have the di digital display so this is the uh, the 15 inch screen standard on the trucks now your cruise and uh, your phone and your menus for the screen here and then there is your music control here is the shifter so like i said it's a packard transmission so you have this uh which just flicks back and forth and then you have jake's by pulling that back we did uh, a near full gauge package on this truck here it's a little tricky to get a full gauge package on the new style cabs because uh, a lot of the gauges are put onto the digital display but uh, there's there's a few tricks that you can get to fill it in entirely but uh, here we got the uh, 10 gauges across as far as the uh, switches here, we have uh, your spare switch, your trailer brakes, engine uh, fan. This is the uh, air guillotine. So this is your uh, stop engine switch right there. And then there's to uh, test the sweeper of it. Uh, there is your trash control. Uh, there is your hill uh, assist to shut that off. That kind of holds your brakes for roughly three or so seconds. Uh, if you're taking your foot off the throttle to go onto the, or off the brake pedal to go to the throttle and it will uh, hold the brakes unless you shut that off your dpf regen spare there's just an air uh, switch right there uh, there's your fit your air suspension dump your power divider front diff rear diff and pto switch on that side auto climb control which is a really nice function and then here is your lights so there's the bunk light just turned that on we have a fog light switch clearance lights and then your driving lights headlights and then there is your hazards uh, so we ordered this truck just with two fixed seats so we don't have any sort of swivel on that on that seat as far as that goes uh, and as far as in the bunk area here i'll just kind of kick my shoes off quickly and uh, show you back there for a second so down below here we have an aftermarket installed inverter we have Andy's backpack with all my camera gear. <laughs> and then uh, back here, we have the display that has all of your radio controls, your heater controls, your SPAR controls from the factory, your bunk lights and some power outlets. Uh, we have 
Now, somebody has some uh, to keep things quiet, so for sleeping if you wanted to. We have the bunk window on this side here. We also have the bunk window on this side on this with uh, the covers over top. And then there is a little storage pocket. Here is a TV mount for the back wall. So down here you have a 12 volt outlet and then you have this little mount right here where you can put a TV on that and watch TV if you're into doing that kind of a thing. And with a Diamond VIT interior, you get this uh, Madrona stitching all on the bunk where it's all stitched in diamond. So it's all black back here with the tan roof overhead. So I'm sitting up perfectly straight here, just kind of, I'm actually squishing my butt down into the mattress a bit. And I, I'm touching, but uh, you can actually sit up comfortably without kind of, like I'm slouching just a little bit here, you can kind of see but uh, you got a tiny little bit of room overhead. So it is still a very comfortable cab. So you can have that old school look and still have that comfort uh, all in one package. So nicely done. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, if you are new to this channel and you like this kind of type of content, I'd really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you a single thing, just click the button down below and then you are subscribed as a follower. It helps me out a lot. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot too. So if you wanna see my other social media content, if you like the pictures and that kind of stuff and don't have time to sit and watch a full video, I put pictures up every single day as much as I can on my Instagram, Facebook uh, pages, Twitter. Sometimes we'll, we'll get a few things on there. You can check that out. Just go to my website up here, thekenworthguy.com and you can see what all my social media sites are all about. If you also want to check out Jade Transport, they have all their social media, social media up on the web, Instagram, Facebook, and their website. I'll put links in the description below and maybe even up on the screen here if I remember to do it in post. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have yourself the world's best day.